Welcome back. Waking up to some pretty foggy conditions out there. Yeah, and temperatures are below freezing, so it could lead to some icy spots around portions of the area. So do be mindful of that as you make your way to wherever it is you are headed this morning. Now, here's what it looks like outside right now from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. Now, right here doesn't look too foggy, but in other areas it is rather thick. So again, just use a little extra caution, slow down, and don't forget those headlights out there. As I mentioned, because of those temperatures, it is freezing fog. Now, that does not mean that all those areas are going to be slick, but just something to be mindful of as you make your way across portions of the area. Now, again, Mankato, not too bad. Five miles of visibility as well as in St. James, though we are under four, uh, under five miles of visibility in St. Peter with a mile and a half of visibility in Redwood Falls, under a mile of visibility in Hutchinson, Olivia, Wyndham, Jackson, Spencer, Slayton and Worthington. Now this fog is going to stick around for a couple of hours through the rest of the morning hours. So a dense fog advisory is in effect and will remain in effect anywhere you see the yellow here on your screen until 10 o'clock this morning. As you can see, most of that dense fog advisory is for areas from Mankato westward to the Minnesota South Dakota border, including portions of northwestern Iowa. And again, all of this is set to expire at 10 o'clock this morning. Here's a look at those temperatures. You might want to pre start your car this morning. Let it warm up. Give yourself a little extra time to maybe scrape those windows because of this freezing fog out there. It is leading to a little bit of some frost on your windows. We're at 27 degrees here in Mankato, St. Peter, St. James, Fairmont and Blue Earth. We are as low as 21 degrees in Marshall and as warm if you can consider that warm as 30 degrees in Algona. Now in a month or so when we've got temperatures topping out in the teens, this will be considered warm. That's kind of something funny to think about as you go forward into those winter months. Now winds relatively light anywhere from calm conditions up to 15 miles an hour, primarily out of the southwest. Keep in mind wind speeds of five miles an hour or greater do lead to a wind chill out there or a, a real field temperature. So areas again from Mankato westward will be dealing with the wind chill. So in those areas, it actually feels more like those teens out there. So a little bit bitter, but it will warm up a little bit. The good news is as you head out the door, you're just dealing with that freezing fog. Satellite radar imagery shows mostly cloudy skies, but no flurries in the area as of right now. As we go forward into the morning and afternoon hours, we are going to see a little bit of a chance for some rain to a, a rain snow mix. Now, when I say rain snow mix, I'm more so talking about a flurry sprinkle mix at most. So little to no accumulation expected, just a little bit of some falling precipitation possible through the afternoon hours. We'll stay mostly cloudy tonight into tomorrow morning, and then by tomorrow afternoon, clouds will slowly clear out of the area, making way for some sunshine though temperatures are going to stay a little bit on that chilly side. The good news is as we go into the end of the week, temperatures are expected to warm up a tad. Today though, 37 for the high, kind of gloomy out there with those cloudy skies and that chance for a light flurry sprinkle mix tonight, staying cloudy, a stray flurry or two possible low of 26 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We're looking at those 40s by Wednesday. Thursday will be the best day this week with the high of 51 degrees. And then as we go into the weekend and next week, those temperatures are going to once again return back to the 30s and eventually those upper 20s by the middle of next week. Kelsey. Thanks, Caitlin.